2014 will be remembered as a monumental year in the LGBT movement, mainly in the fight for marriage equality. State bans have been falling like dominoes thrown out by the courts. In fact, just last week, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that same-sex marriages can begin in Florida next month, while that state's ban continues to make its way through the courts. Another victory for the movement, indeed, but marriage is just one side of the fight for equality. Joining us is Jonathan Lovitz, Director of Communications for Startout, an organization dedicated to fostering entrepreneurship in the LGBT community. Jonathan, welcome. Great to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Now, the, the U.S. LGBT community has endured much success in 2014, but I'm yeah. curious, looking out to 2015, sure. what are the biggest obstacles that you see facing the community? Well, you're right. It's been a fantastic year of success. And looking forward, you know, we, we can't rest on our laurels. Um, you know, looking back at this year, we had Tim Cook come out, which is a major leader in the mm -hmm. tech sector, and, and proof that when a major CEO of a Fortune 500 company comes out, the walls don't fall down. Right. So a great thing that happens. Um, but looking ahead, it's, it's what do we do with that? Uh, how are we inspiring the next generation of LGBT CEOs and C-suiters to come out knowing that the, the climb up the corporate ladder is easier than you think. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot to fight for in terms of uh, legislation, and as we face it, we have a pretty intransigent Congress in the next few years. So we've got a lot to do on the state level, uh, working through grassroots organizations, and in the corporate level. Um, if you, it's strange to say, but corporate America has, has been leaps and bounds ahead of uh, legislators in terms of making it better for uh, LGBT America to succeed in business. Yeah, Tim Cook's coming out feels very powerful and inspiring, but He's the head of one of the world's biggest corporations. He's already ensconced sure. in a very high-level position. Does it really have an impact on folks who are lower on the corporate totem pole, who are in less progressive companies? And, of course, as we were discussing before, in modern America, most people will not come out and say uh, homophobic things to your face, but they'll hold those biases in. Sure. Well, Tim Cook serves a fantastic example that, uh, and I think this year proves it more than any other, that being out and being successful are no longer mutually exclusive. And that's something that's going to resonate all the way down the pipeline through, you know, what everyone's calling the flyover states. That's where this is needed most. You know, we're spoiled in New York and San Francisco and D.C. We know how fortunate we have it to be able to be out and with our partners. Well, but we think the rest of the world is the same. Right, exactly. But, you know, picture this. I can be married in 35 states now, but in 29, just for putting a picture of my husband on my desk, I can be fired. Uh, we have major problems like that that are still facing us. We need uh, an Employee Non-Discrimination Act to ensure that there's equality of workplace protections nationwide. We need protections for uh, credit. Well, talk to us about that because sure. you can get married now in, in 32 states and that is continuing to grow. But in 37 states, uh, you are not protected against discrimination. I mean, if you go out to get a loan, um, mm -hmm. it's a lot. You're not treated equally, essentially. So so how is it that in some state, in the same state you can get married, you can go to the bank and not be treated the same? It's it's not unlike the, the marriage situation right now where we've got this patchwork of laws where uh, we've got 12 states that have protection for uh, federal credit. Um, but in, in, like you said, 37 others, uh, I could walk in for a bank loan to start my new business as an openly gay entrepreneur and be told no and I have no recourse and the problem is when I talk about this with people they say why haven't we heard about this problem well, who are you gonna tell mm. so we need mm. federal protections uh, to ensure that when you are seeking credit when you are looking to start a business when you're working up that corporate ladder things are uniform no matter where you work you know, my home state of Florida, like I said, if I were to put up a photo of my Big husband news on my for desk Florida, there, though. Yeah, I, right, I can get married there starting January 6th, but today I have no protections in the workplace, so just talking about my partner could get me in a lot of trouble. Wow. Jonathan Lovitz, thank you so much for popping by and happy holidays. Thank you. Thanks to all of you.